Um, in this session, I'm going to go through the Office 365, the new login experience, as well as the new homepage experience for Office 365. Uh, for some of you, uh, you may have already seen some of these changes. Uh, for others, these changes will be coming to all Office 365 tenants um, probably before the end of the year, and for the most part, probably uh, by the end of November. Um, so what you're looking at on the screen right now is the, the current login screen where we have uh, basically our uh, the, the various modules for Office 365 and their little squares here and we have the, the app launcher up on the left so the new experience is functionally the same thing but it's going to look quite a bit different um, so let's go ahead and take a look at that I'm going to log out of this account And then I'm going to go ahead and log into the new interface. One of the first things you're going to see is when you hit the sign on button. I'll, I'll, well, actually, I use two-factor authentication, so I'm going to have to put my code in here. Okay, so what we're going to see is that the icons at the top have changed. They're a lot more colorful. They're smaller. Um, but their functions are the same. So we have Outlook, we have OneDrive, um, SharePoint, basically all of the various modules that um, that you have. This may vary depending on, on your tenant and what applications you have uh, assigned. Um, but it, so th this will be what the new screen looks like. One of the things that they've added is you can click on this, uh, explore your all your apps. And what this does is it gives you a brief description about each of the apps. So, for instance, uh, if I want to look at OneDrive, I click Learn More here, and it takes you out to the website uh, relative that for OneDrive. And there's so lots of times there's videos, there's examples of things you can do with it, etc. Um, the other thing that has changed is the actual uh, Office. Um, app launcher or we call it the waffle up in the upper left hand corner when we click on this now it's the same thing it's instead of having all of the squares the flat the kind of flat squares you now actually have uh, colorful icons for the different modules and it's the same thing you have all the various modules you have um, it, if you don't see all of the, what you're looking for there you can select all apps and that will show all of the applications that are on there. And on any one of these, if you just uh, click on it, and you, if you want to have it at the at the top, you can click Pin to Launcher, and it will show up at the, on the top. So you can adjust how how your screen looks. At the moment you can't move icons around uh, whereas on the older screen you could actually take and move your various modules to wherever you wanted so if you wanted the most uh, most active ones at the top you could do that right now at least uh, this will change but right now you're not able to move them around uh, just yet the other thing on the app launcher now is it does show your, your most recent docs documents um, and also right from here you can uh, click on new and create a brand new document um, the other thing you can do is if I click the more docs basically what it's going to do is it's going to highlight this screen the the login screen which has actually more documentation so uh, it, these are the files that you've been working on and then these are the OneDrive folders the most recent ones and you can click here to go to OneDrive uh, you can also pin documents. So if this meeting notes is something, if, let's say it's a word, or maybe this work this Excel spreadsheet here. If I wanted this to always be on 
uh, the the uh, the document screen here, as opposed to rolling off when when other documents, you know, when I work on other documents, I can click the pin button here, and it will pin it to the list, and it'll stay on the top of the list uh, forever unless I unpin it. The other thing you can look at, uh, which is new, is you're able to look at your documents that others have shared with you. Um, so beyond your own documents, if uh, if I've shared some documents with you, I'm able to go in and click the, or you're able to go in and click shared with me, and it'll just show the documents that are that are shared. Uh, and if you have rights to edit those documents, you'd be able to edit them right from there as well. So it doesn't have to be your own documents; can be documents from everyone else. So this is what the new screens look like. This is the the new home, what we would call the Office 365 home page, um, and this is the new uh, uh, app launcher screen. Basically, same functionality as you had before. Uh, the difference is it's a little bit more colorful, and as relative to working with documents, there's been some things added uh, for that, and uh, makes it a little bit easier to work. So hopefully that gives you at least a little bit of an overview of what to expect when your tenant changes. Again, all Office 365 clients will see these changes over the next, uh, if you don't see them already, which you may, uh, you'll be seeing them over the next uh, few weeks. Thanks for listening.